We are not going to discuss Meghan Markle's pink suit at the Lakers game the other night. I have been known to step out in questionable get-ups myself. Think sweatpants to run to the post office and pajama bottoms once when the painters ran out of the trim color and someone needed to get to Lowe's ASAP and once in the 80s to a gala in a bespoke dress with the voluminous scaffolded shoulders of the air that kept rotating all on their own whenever I took a bite of salad or turned to speak to the dinner partner on my other side. We have all had our fashion mishaps. Further, women in the public eye are all too regularly reduced to their fashion choices. Take Catherine, Princess of Wales, who has diligently worked for over a decade to promote the rights and solve the structural problems women and children in the UK face. Yes, she looks sleek and polished and well-tailored at every turn, but she's so, so much more than a fashion plate, and we don't want to compound the problem. We are also not going to discuss what Meghan Markle was doing at a basketball game. Have we ever seen her at a basketball game before the other night? Did we know she was a Hoops fan? Well, no matter, right? Anyone can go to a basketball game if that's what they're into. What we are going to discuss is why. After months of staying purposefully out of the public eye, letting her husband take all the heat for his embarrassing book, meh, she has suddenly started to reappear. She's headed out to a basketball game, and appearing in a TED video, and writing, and possibly, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly leaking letters exchanged between herself and the King of England? Why now? Because we are but days away from the coronation of her father-in-law, and it is killing her that she isn't welcome there. Watch for more antics in the near future. We're taking bets on how long she can control herself as the great day nears and the length she'll go to to draw attention to herself. But the authentic has one final question for you. Why didn't Meghan just kiss Harry when they were up on the Jumbotron? Because if she had, we wouldn't still be talking about that Jumbotron moment. Meghan Markle, as she has demonstrated so generously over the last few years, is not a PR genius by any means, but once in a while she gets it right and keeps herself in the conversation.